Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking a look at this Traffic Advisor light bar. Now what's cool about this, you're going to be able to mount it in the back of your truck right here. And this is going to be able to give you and the drivers around you an indication of where you're going to be. You can see here, everything comes nicely packaged. You're going to get your instruction manual. You're going to get some 3M double-sided tape right here. This is going to be for more permanent mount. You also are going to get a number of the suction cups here so you can do a temporary mount. So if you're going to be using these in multiple trucks, it's going to be great for that. You're going to get some uh, extra wire right here. You get your controller. And this is going to be cool too because it'd be real simple to set up. Press this one, have everybody go to the left. This one, everyone goes to the right. And this one says you can go both ways. You also have a few different custom patterns here and we'll take a closer look at those. You do get all the mounting hardware that you need right here and a super long cable for the two light bars. Now what's cool is you're gonna be able to either put these next to each other or you can spread them out on both sides of the truck. So let's go ahead, get these installed and see what they look like. All right, so here's a closer look at all of the accessories. You can see here you have your mounting hardware. This is gonna mount right here on the sides of the actual bars themselves. Uh, you can see here from the picture how it's going to look with the actual uh, suction cups. Again, you can use a more permanent mount and go ahead and just basically stick these directly to the glass. Um, you do get your 12 volt connector right here. This is going to just go directly into the cigarette lighter adapter and then you have your bars. Now what's cool about these, they're two inches tall and 18 and a half inches wide. So it's gonna be great. And you have your very large, easy to read controller here and it's gonna tell you whatever uh, mode you're on. So again, left, right, you get your center, you got your custom patterns and everything like that. So let's go ahead and see what they look like. All right, you can see we got the strobe set up here. And what's really cool is the controller reaches all the way out here. Now what I think is really nice about that, you can hit this, it's going to change the pattern and it's going to show you what the pattern is here and then it replicates it back up here at the top. So you can see here we're on number five. You want to have everybody go to the right, there's that. You can set it up for everyone to go around you or go to the left. And again, you have all your custom settings here that you can program. You also have a very large number of different settings that you can go through. You have your strobes here, different types of strobes. So these are going to be great for any type of EMS, emergency, fire, police, depending on what your area is. You may want to check to make sure you can use the red and blue uh, construction, things like that. But overall, it's going to be a pretty cool little setup. You can see here again, you have a number of different settings here to make sure it's going to satisfy everything that you need for your project.